Hello and welcome to the tutorial session about the Supervised Light software. In this episode, we'll be covering basic configuration of the instrument. If you use your 104, 104IS, um, 106, 971, any equipment from Svantec used for health and safety measurements can be configured using the Supervised Light. And in this video, we'll be covering how to do that. Now upon the start of the software, this is the screen you will be greeted with if you're not connected with any Svantec instruments. So as the screen explains here, no instrument connected. If you have this view, but you have a dosimeter, sound level meter or vibration analyzer connected via USB or using a dock and you still have this command here, no instruments connected then that could be the lack of USB drivers. USB drivers should be installed automatically with the software, but sometimes a virus protection program can delete that. Um, if you have this problem, check out the description of this video. We will have another video explaining how to check if the USB drivers are indeed the problem and how to install them. Now, I'm going to connect a unit and let you see how the supervisor software reacts. So I have connected my 104A that we're gonna be using in this demo. And as you can see straight away, supervisor uploads the current settings. So what we see here are the current settings uploaded on my dosimeter. This means that if I would now just pull the cord, break the connection between the computer, between supervisor and uh, the unit. These would be the settings that I will be measuring against using that dust meter. First thing to note here is the clock. You have the clock right here telling you the time. If this is red, then that means that the clock on your device and the clock on your computer have a bigger difference than a couple of seconds. Now, if you do that, if you have that, if that is the case for you, then please click here to synchronize the time. You're also given the information about the free memory space on your SD card, which is integrated into the meter and the firmware version. Below are the tabs for different settings. Going through them all one by one, would make for a very long video. Also, the tabs and their contents are going to be defined by the type of instrument. So for now, we are looking at the 104A, right? But if we would be looking at the 971 or a 106, you would have different tabs with different options. Therefore, it is of no value for this video to go through all of the tabs one by one, Instead, I would recommend that you go to our website, swante.com, uh, and you find the instrument you are using, and in the product page of that instrument, on the bottom of the page, you can download the user manual. And in that user manual, there will be screenshots of supervisor with explanation on what these different parameters mean. I do, however, want to show you how to change settings and what you have to do to upload them to your device. So let's assume we want to change the presets standard here to OSHA AC. We already have OSHA PEL on the Profile 1, Profile 2, I'm sorry. And as you can see here, as soon as we change one setting, the activate setup button goes orange. That is to indicate that the current setting that we're trying, that we're changing, whatever we change here has not been activated in the dosimeter. Now, if I would click here, activate setup, that would upload the files to the dosimeter and now as it's blue again or uh, you know white uh, it means that these settings have been activated if you are in progress of changing something so if let's say i want to set the spectrum of productive bands to a and then in the middle of that i'm thinking well you know what I'll, i need to go to the data browser to check something out that will warn you and this allow you to do that without saving the settings. Clicking no here will uh, disregard from changes. Clicking yes will upload the settings, cancel, takes us back. 
one final thing that I want to show you before we end this video is the ability to choose previous settings. As you can see here, we have previous settings shown here with the date and timestamps. These date and timestamps can uh, indicate where, when we clicked on the activate setup. Depending on instrument types, you will have different dates and when you're cha changing them. So, if you're, for example, you have to configure five dosimeters, you make a configuration in the first dosimeter, activate that. The time is now uh, eight uh, minutes after pre, so 15.08. And then you connect the new one, a new 104A. You can just go here, choose these settings, and suddenly all these settings are re uploaded. And then you click activate setup to activate that on this new dosimeter. So, this is great if you're configuring more than one dosimeter. So, this has been the tutorial on how to configure dosimeter using supervised light. Uh, in the upcoming video, we're going to show you how to download data, review data, and finally how to post-process data in order to obtain a document and report. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, contact your distributor or us here at Svantec at Svantec Support. Thank you very much and have a great day.